My name is Penny Swift, and I'm the title is art instructor. This August will be 10 years here at Shalom House. I was hired because I went, went to art school and because I'm an artist, not because I'm a clinician, not because I'm a therapist. And all of my knowledge of mental health has come from working in the field and what I receive for information through my coworkers and the people that attend the program. The labels drop off you when you walk through the door here because I don't have to read any files. I'm not diagnosing people while they're talking to me. You're just your, yourself. This whole program is grant and donor funded. You know, recently there have been cuts and people have lost case management and they have lost, you know, um, just a number of things, health insurance, all kinds of things like that. When they lose their health insurance, then they lose a whole bunch of other programs because they no longer qualify because they don't have, if you don't have health insurance, then you can't have X, Y, and Z services because those places bill the state. And because we're privately funded, none of that comes into play here. In a time where it's really stressful, the, the, we're fortunate that this is something that they won't be taken away. It can't be taken away. I honestly don't know who I would be if I wasn't Tenny Swift, the lady that runs the Shalom House Art Program. It's part of my personality at this point. It's part of who I am. My name is Mark Chapman, and I've been here probably since October. I always needed something that would help my confidence and give me something I'm good at. Before this, um, I was working as a karate instructor. I was there for 15 years, and I loved it. The thing that made me feel best is my karate. It gave me a lot of confidence. But when I uh, left there, um, I pretty much lost a lot of my connections and I was introduced to this and it helped replace that. I've been homeless five times in my life. Because I know for me, when I was homeless, I felt like I was a, a failure. Once you lose a big chunk of your confidence, and when you feel worthless, it's hard to really care anymore. You just give up. When you get something that helps you feel that you have something to gain or give back, it gives you that self-worth. It's a confidence booster. My name is Ada Sargent, spelled A-D-A. I usually tell people, take Canada, get rid of the can, and you got Ada, and that's originally where I'm from. I come from a family which is called Jack of All Trades, Master of None, because we dabble in everything. I combine a lot of my crafts. I do stained glass making. Uh, believe it or not, I've built porches, I've built houses. It runs in my blood to do those things. And to me, those things are relaxing. It takes my mind off of everyday problems like money, politics, your home, your rent, your food, and stuff like that. And it just get lost in my arts. When I became a single, lonely parent is when I started realizing some things. Um, I put myself in the hospital for severe depression. You try to fight it, and you, you try to look for something positive to make you feel good. Even if it's doing something stupid, like helping somebody across the street, or, you know, at least you feel good about yourself. We all need each other, whether we know it or not. People here in the class need each other. Even if it's just for a little while.